Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing an eye tutorial. So this is just basically um, makeup for the eyes and I've really wanted to do this. I've always had this at the back of my head like should I do this? I don't know yet. Oh, I don't know but I'm going to do it today. I'm definitely going to do it today and it is the multi-coloured cut crease and I think this is such a colourful exciting like funky look that you know you could do it for any like any fun event. I don't know maybe Halloween or if you're going to like some party. I don't know it's just something that I really wanted to try out and I wanted to do so I'm gonna do it today. So I'm gonna put everything that I've used on my face already in the description box below. So if you do wanna know what I use, like foundation, concealer, contour, it'll all be in the description box below. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Avon's uh, eyelid eyeshadow primer in light beige, and I'm just gonna put this all over my lids. Okay, so to start off, I'll be using Makeup Revolution's Ultimate Eyeshadow Collection, and I'll be taking this colour right here, this one, and it's a really nice um, deep pink colour, and it's also matte so it's very pigmented, just make sure of that, um, and I'll be using Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush just to put this on my eyes. <laughs> Now you don't have to put it on the lid, but I just am, because that's just my safety rule, because I feel like if I don't put it there, I'm lost, so, um, because I want to bring it up to the bone, like right here is your bone, and I want to bring it up towards the bone, so that it brings it outwards, the eyeshadow. Okay, so now to start off the cut crease, I'll be using Nana Coco's Eye and Lip Pencil, and this is in white. And I'll also be taking Real Techniques um, Concealer Brush. You can take concealer if you want, but I'm just going to take this white colour. I'm going to take a lot of product on that. And I'm going to define a line. Okay, so I've defined the line. It may look messy now, but I'm just going to put the white pencil where I want it to be now and I'm just going to fill in this area. I've curved it here to give the illusion of like an angled eyeliner flick so when you look it looks kind of angled like a cat eye. So now taking any eye brush, um, eye brush. now taking any eyeshadow brush that you have, I'm going to take this flat one, I'm going to take this white colour here this one it's a matte white and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna pat this all over the Nana Coco eye pencil now this sets it so that's not really sticky anymore and it also brightens up the white okay so now depending on how many eye shadow brushes that you have um, you can just clean the same brush that you use with other ones with a baby wipe or whatever you want I usually clean them with baby wipes just to remove the uh, eyeshadow off of them and now I'm gonna start by using the colors all these neon colors right here so I'm going to be taking this color first and this is a really nice light blue and I'm gonna put this on my inner corners because it's light I really want it to go from a gradient so kind of like light to like darkest if I can with all the colours that I have here. So I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take this light blue, I'm going to put it on the inner corner. Now with another eyeshadow brush I'll be taking this colour here, this one, it's a really light yellow. Now again another eyeshadow brush and we'll take this orange right here. Now I'm going to take this colour right here, this pink. Now the last colour I'll be taking this green. And this is kind of the outer I'm kind of bringing it underneath just so that it connects to 
my lower lash line. Now, if you have any fancy coloured um, eyeliner pencils or waterline pencils, I've got um, purple, another purple, a white, another purple, um, a champagne and a blue. So you can use anything just to put in your waterline. But I'm going to use white and this is the... Uh, Rimmel, I think this is, yeah, this is the Rimmel Soft Coal um, Eyeliner Pencil. And I'm using white because I kind of want it to open up my eyes. Even though I did put uh, white in my waterline, if you can see it, but um, I am going to tight line my eyes just on the upper half so that I feel like it has a little bit of depth on the top and then just a little less on the bottom. So I'll be using Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof um, Cold Pencil. Now for lashes I'll be using Red Cherries DW, so I'm guessing Demi Wespies and these are gorgeous. Now I'm just going to put mascara on my top and my bottom lashes, um, both real and fake, and I'll be using Clinique's High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. And this is the final look. It is a really, really colourful look. I mean, I've always wanted to experiment with a lot of colours on the face. And I've always wanted to do this cut crease look. And I really love it because it's just so colourful. And it's just like so funky and like disco -y and stuff. So like, you can use this for like anything. Just experiment with your face. Your face is the canvas and makeup is your paint. It's your whatever, your tools, whatever you have. And you know, it's fun to experiment. So I really wanted to try out this look. So if you did enjoy this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!